All right, we have more Xbox love to share with you all today with the Power A Moga XP Ultra wireless controller. So this is a very interesting looking device. It's been out for a couple of years now, if memory serves, but it is essentially an Xbox controller that can be attached to a ergonomic grip used in a mini pad form, but it works wirelessly on Xbox consoles as well as your phones and PC through Bluetooth. But this is one of those rare controllers that actually does work wirelessly with an Xbox without any additional receivers, so it is a very intriguing device. A very expensive one as well, unfortunately, but we're going to give this one a thorough review on the channel and see if that price is justified or not. But just from a usability standpoint, this thing is very fascinating. And I honestly cannot wait to try it out, so we're going to give this one a quick unboxing, quick field test, and then deliver you a full review in the coming weeks. But just taking a quick look at the box, you can see how this is designed for a number of use cases for console, PC, and mobile. Multi-platform wireless controller. Also comes with a month of Game Pass Ultimate, nice. But play wirelessly on Xbox, mappable buttons, and then officially licensed. So moving on to the side here, we can see it has a Xbox console with it. And the other side has some specifications. So this thing has a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which is huge for a controller. That's gonna be awesome. 4.2 Bluetooth, dimensions, system requirements, and then contents inside the box. So this does come with a 10 foot braided USB-C cable as well. Very nice. And then same things in different languages. But on the back, we have system compatibility here. Mappable buttons, four ways to play, mini pad, mini pad clip, full size controller, full size controller with a clip. But yeah, so this comes with a gaming clip, magnetic triggers, mini pad, 3.5 stereo jack for audio, 2000 milliamp hour battery, and then it also has rumble motors inside the grip. So very cool. But let's go ahead and get this uh, opened up here. There we are. So that is a nice and thick inner box here, really nice. Okay, so we got uh, another set of security labels to get through. All right, so that's really cool. I like this presentation with this box. So here we have the controller itself, and I was really concerned that this ergonomic grip wouldn't feel that ergonomic, but that actually feels really nice in the hands right off the bat. Has two rear programmable buttons here, which fit nicely into your fingers in the grip, so very easy to reach. So here we go, we got some anti-friction rings on the thumbsticks. These, thumb these thumbstick caps are very curious. Decent grip and resistance on both sticks. Very traditional Xbox Series XS D-pad, so that does feel pretty good. I need to give that a more thorough investigation. Xbox button, share button. All these are very clicky. So we have very clicky face buttons. Pretty loud, but they do feel really good. No extra pressure needed to press these, so these ought to feel really good in games. Bumpers feel like typical Power A controllers, so they feel a bit more hollow, but very satisfying to press at the very same time. And then the triggers. Pretty decent resistance. A bit more loose than I prefer, but that ought to work perfectly in games. So now on the bottom we have a switch to uh, eject the controller it looks like. Yep, so that is how you turn it into its mini version. But then the 3.5 millimeter jack has a little pass through hole there for you to plug in your headphones. And then a MOGA button here for programming the rear buttons. And then the clip goes in right here. We'll check that out here in a second. 
but we've got a pair button and then USB-C port. But anyway, so the clip itself right here So, it can fit phones of most sizes, it looks like. That extends pretty far. That'll fit my Pixel 6 Pro just fine. But it goes... Yeah. Clips in just nicely right here on the back. And then you can tighten everything up on the sides of the clip here to give you a nice mobile platform for playing any Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or mobile games. So that works. That works well. It's in there nice and secure. I think I'm going to pull the mini controller out before the phone clip comes out. So that's really nice. And then again, you can transform it into a more portable controller. It's a little uh, interesting to look at, but that does work. I don't think I'm going to play it like this most of the time myself, but that is a pretty cool option to have. And that clip comes off nice and easily, but yeah, that's curious. That is so curious. It's kind of, it's so funky. What an interesting design concept. But yeah, that's, that is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And the fact that it just goes nicely into place. Like, it might not be the most pretty to look at controller, but it's kind of got that cool steampunk aesthetic to it in a way. So, very cool stuff. But anyway, let's check out the last of our stuff here. So, we've got a nice little... Uh, <laughs> it just kind of unravels with nothing else inside it to give us uh, warnings and stuff and then our quick start guide so that's pretty interesting QR code for the actual manual I guess but then underneath we have our game pass ultimate code and then our 10 foot USB-C braided cord so Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a Power A branding on it like other Power A controllers have had that we've reviewed. Oh no, there it is. We are blind. There it is. Good. Power A branding. Good. Good stuff. I actually like that because I have a lot of USB cables and I like to kind of keep the original cable with the original product. So when they have branding like this, it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, this is a very curious controller and I cannot wait to dive in more and share my thoughts on it with all of you. So we'll go ahead and give this some proper playtime and give a full video in the next couple of weeks and I'm really looking forward to sharing that with all of you. But thank you for watching today's unboxing. If you'd like to check out more videos on the channel, be sure to hit that sub button. And if you haven't already, that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video. And if you find the content on this channel helpful or entertaining and would like to see it keep going, please consider checking out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen as every little bit helps keep us going. Big shout out to all of our current champions. You're incredible, amazing, couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.